Hey, Miles, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Hey, so uh, what was it like when you were out that couple of weeks and having to watch this team run the football up and down the field? I think people got a good glimpse of me. Um, I'm not a selfish player. Right. Uh, I'm, I try to keep myself very humble. I just try to not have a lot of attention on myself, you know? It's kind of impossible with the type of lifestyle and the sport we play, but honestly, my feelings uh, about those last two weeks, I was just happy that Jordan and Boston Scott were able to show what they could do. You know, I got here and it was those two. Jordan was the starting running back and Boston was here. And I got a lot of respect and love for them too, especially for Jordan, learned a lot from him. And then for him to have the games that he's been having these last couple of games, it's just special to me. You know, had an unfortunate circumstance in the beginning of the season, which helped some players to not play, but he got his opportunity and he's taking full advantage of it. And I love to see him and Boston just do what they do, you know, uh, us three back together and stuff. Now, speaking of the beginning of the season, you foresaw this because you made a statement and I'm going to quote you. I think we can do special things with this offensive line. You said that. Absolutely. What exactly did you see back in the summer with this offensive line that led you to believe that? What I seen, I think Denver was two something. Detroit was what? It wasn't 200, but it was almost, I think. Uh, this game, 240, you know, that's what I had in mind. And then with Jalen doing with his legs, plus his arm too, that's just everything I had in mind. It's just everybody playing complimenting football. It don't matter who's back there, tailback, as you can see, it, it's gonna work. So the past four weeks, you rushed for over 175 yards each of those four weeks. Tell me about this offensive line. What is it about them that makes them so good? I have to start off with the guy leading it, Coach Stout. Yep. He's unbelievable coaching those guys, man. And then Jason Kelsey, he makes all the calls, he makes where to go, where to write blocks, and it's just perfect. And you see the things that he does, you know, the run that I had, he's in full stride. It's not even his man, but he gets a chip of that guy, he's out of the play. And then he's still in full stride, he's going to go block another guy. It's just, you don't see stuff like that in an 11-year vet center. So my respect to those guys is through the roof. And then you got Malata, and you got Lane on the other side, and those guys are unbelievable to. And then you got the two young guys. You got Jack and Landon just literally just following those guys. You can tell they're getting better and better each and every week, especially Landon. And I love where they're at. So I have to ask you about the fumble. When I would drop a pass, I would always go to Jaworski or go to Randall Cunningham and I wanted him to feed me. When you put it on the ground, how do you get that out of your system and how do you how do you move forward? I honestly want the ball more just to get my get myself out of that funk because I don't care what running back you are. I don't care what receiver you are. If you drop a ball, if you fumble it, you're going to think about it until you get a couple good runs in or cool, good catches in. And then it's like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm back. So there you go. yeah, that's, that's just the most frustrating thing. It's just trying to get out the funk and then you on the sideline like, oh, dang. But that's, that's all I can say. So you're going to see a good friend of yours this weekend, Saquon Barkley. How tough is it to see this guy, as talented as he is, he just hasn't been able to show the last couple of weeks because of, or the past couple of seasons, because of repeated injuries. Uh, it's very tough and try to keep in touch with him. Uh, he's a very good friend of mine. And I have my injuries too. His has been more serious and he's missed a lot more time than me, but I just try to tell him, you know who you are, man. Saquon Barkley, like just say it in the mirror. I try to tell myself and when I ever feel down on myself, just look in the mirror and just say who you are because you are that dude. And that's all you got to know is just keep that confidence. Miles, and yes, you are that dude. And thank you for joining us. Best of luck up at MetLife Stadium this weekend. Thank you. Thanks for having me.